steward of all earthly creations. This commandment has been given to us since the dawn of creation. We believe that we have to live by this means in order for us to sustain for our existence on this planet. We believe that all things must be done systematically in order for them to turn in successful results. We therefore devise an action plan in order for us to successfully do our aims. The first step in our action plan is to disseminate information to the general public. Then, we would like to coordinate with government officials and non-governmental organizations as well as individ individuals who are influential in the community in order for us to gain their support. Then, we shall orient the students on the policy in order for them to be informed. Then, we will set the deadline for business operators to comply with the provision stated in our proposed policy. Finally, we shall monitor the implementation of the proposed policy in its very initial stage, which are the first months of its implementation. We believe, though, that no matter how we perfect our proposed policy, there shall still be people who shall oppose our policy while others will favor us. We believe that the two sides opposing each other are the pro-environment groups and the business operators. We believe that we can use the support of the pro-environment groups by discussing the issue with them because we believe that they are now an influential sector that politicians listen to. We shall also convince the business, and business operators support our policy by giving them the raw facts that organic materials are more available and cheaper in this tropical nation. That organic materials or organic alternatives are more available and decomposed earlier and so it will lessen the problem of disposing plastics. To explain further how we will coordinate with public officials, here is my colleague, Clarissa Salt. We know that global warming is a major concern. It has become a burden to lack the pardon done in the 21st century. <laughs> Along with this concern is the overuse of plastics. It is useful, but it has a major drawback. For a single plastic bag, it takes a very long span of time to compose. Consider the number of days being used around the world. It is very alarming. Many people use insulation to eliminate plastics instead of minimizing flush. It resulted to a greater problem by minimizing. It resulted to a greater problem by by feeding on the elements of global warming. There are so many ways of lowering flush. One of it is a total banning of plastics. In order for us to implement our proposed policy, we need the cooperation of public officials, school authorities, and business operators. Working with government officials needs formalities, action which, if not taken, will cause the failure of our proposed policy. Knowing this, we will make arrangements with our concerned agencies. We will create written requests to arrange meetings with public officials so that all scenarios that may happen if the policy is implemented may be discussed. Through this process, we will know the possible drawbacks of our proposed policy that may be amended. We will determine necessary actions before and after the implementation of the policy. We will discuss major we will discuss concern matters with pro-environment groups so that we may get their support. We will talk to vendors, listen to their points of view. We will talk to vendors, listen to their points of view, so that we may get their support. Finally, to settle all concerns, we shall organize public hearings so that the public may discuss the policy. This project, citizen, is an op is a great opportunity for us to hone our skills in preparation for bigger roles ahead of us. As we face bigger challenges in life, it requires a degree of knowledge and skills. 
proper attitude and preparedness, which we had obtained during the process. Our group concentrated on the harmful effects of plastics in our society and how we use organic materials as a remedy. We discussed different problems that people of today encounter and proposed solutions for it. Thus, we became a united group that has one mission, to promote a world that is free from plastic. Aside from tackling several issues, we also search for existing policies that are not implemented in our society. We managed to make a law that would enforce the existing policy. We want to make sure that our fellow citizens can see what the government is doing. Likewise, the government should know about the pains that our many of its citizens experience due to the harmful effects of plastic in our environment. By undergoing this process, we learned about how this plastic can affect our bright future, one of which is this may trigger global warming thereby resulting to climate change. Many people are just taking for granted such little things like plastic. They don't know that by their simple action, it can lead to massive destruction. We became courageous enough to wake up those sleeping government officials. We also emphasize the rule of law for individual rights, equality for separation of powers, freedom for civility, and justice for the truth. We need to act now for tomorrow may be too late. We are making this work for the betterment of the communities here in our country to promote a plastic free place for the young citizens of the world. We are also pushing the advantage of using organic materials as a substitute for plastic. We believe that being nature lovers can make our future progressive and this world a, a worthy place to live in. In this process, the convergence between theoretical and practical application help us discover new ways of doing things like this project citizen and have no fear in trying new ideas. As what our project says, say no to plastic, say yes to organics.